now that I've dropped that constraint, what will happen? Nothing. Here's a new table called my tab. It's you know just a one column thing. Here's the world's most trivial view sitting on top of it. Create my view called VW. Select star from my tab where X is greater than zero with the check option. And I've given that check option a named constraint. Most people will be familiar with this. The check option says when I put a row into this view, it must, the resulting row must be visible in the view. So I can't, for example, put a negative one into this view, even though I could put it into the table. And we can prove that. I'll just make sure the constraint is there, add the constraint, yes. So I try insert into the view minus one. It says no, because the view has a check option, i.e. any insert I do via the view must be visible when I come back via the view. This is simply a proof of concept of how the check option works for views. And we can see it was done with a constraint. Let's now do this though. I want to alter the view and drop that constraint. Quiz time. When I try insert into my view, this value of negative one, now that I've dropped that constraint, what will happen? Nothing. Interestingly enough, when you actually put a constraint name constraint along with a check option, it's really effectively for annotative purposes. It's such that as you come along later, you can query the data dictionary and see those views that have the check only option without having to look at the actual view DDL itself, because there's no column in user views that says whether it's got the check option, it's actually just sitting in the DDL. So when you give a named constraint, that creation of a constraint is purely as an annotation, like a dictionary comment saying, yes, you've got a check only option. If you drop the constraint, all you've done is drop the annotation. The with check only or with check option is enforced because it is defined in the view DDL. But just an interesting one there for you that, yeah, the uh, don't think about dropping the constraint because it doesn't actually change the check option of the view itself.